Hey you guys, it's Jessica. I have a product review for you guys today, and it is from Naturalista Cosmetics. I actually heard about them through um, a friend of mine on Facebook, and as well as Empress Free. She um, did a video reviewing their leave-in conditioner and had nothing but good things to say. So I decided to go to their Etsy page and check them out. And the two things I got was the Juicy Hair Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I know you can't see that label, but this is what it looks like. It's a four-ounce jar. And the Aloe Flax Deep Conditioning Gel with Vitamin E. And this is what that looks like with a pump, which makes it very convenient. Um, and yes, the label is all kind of like worn looking just because it has been traveling with me and it's taken a beating recently. So, yeah. Getting right into it, um, the Juicy Hair Leave-In Conditioner. When it says juicy, it means juicy. Ugh. Oh my god and it smells so good it keeps my hair moisturized for the entire week um like this is six day old hair and i haven't had to re-moisturize it at all during the week so yeah it's really really moisturizing to the hair and it just smells so good it smells like cookies almond honey sweet sugar cakes like oh it just makes you happy <laughs> um yeah, I really love the smell. This is what it looks like. And you can see kind of like the pockets in there that looks like oil separation. And it does indeed um, separate a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> you can see the oil there. It does separate just because there's more oils in here than shea butter. So if you mix it up a little bit, it incorporates more. Also, I forgot to put this in the refrigerator last night, so it's a little bit warmer than usual. I like to actually handle it more so when it's cold, so it, you get a better consistency when it's cold. Um, I'm going to try and get kind of some off the lid to kind of show you. Whoops. This is what it looks like. It's very creamy, um, you know, just very, very nice. And then, of course, you rub it together. It's clear. And then I just apply it. Um, also, one thing I do have to say is I actually do kind of use this as a leave-in more so. Um, and I say kind of is because I tried this right out of the shower, soaking wet hair. It didn't really, I mean, it was nice, but I didn't really like the feel of my hair afterwards. I felt that my hair was kind of too heavy. So I actually um, used my regular Tresemme Naturals conditioner as my leave-in, and then I put this over top of it, and that fixed that problem. Also, I don't really like applying this during the week on dry hair. Again, it feels a little bit too heavy and just a little too much. Not that I need to anyway because my hair stays moisturized throughout the week with this. But um, if any of you were, you know, looking to use this as a sealer or whatnot, I think I've seen some videos where some girls like it as, you know, a sealer or just a re-moisturizer during the week and some don't. I don't really like to use it as a, say, moisturizer or a sealant. Um, other than that, really, really good. Um, again, this is a four ounce container. The um, ingredients in it are shea butter, coconut oil, castor oil, essential oil, vitamin E, aloe vera gel, natural fragrance, and jojoba oil. So lots and lots of good things. Um, everything in this my hair loves. So yeah, this is a really awesome product. Um, when I did buy this, it was $10. I think I bought it at, towards the end of June. But recently, they have raised their prices to $12.50, which I kind of, you know, frown upon a little bit just because this is a four-ounce container, and $12.50 for a four-ounce container? Really? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, nonetheless, it's still a really great product. I would probably repurchase this. Um, so, yeah, nothing but good things to say. Next to the Aliflex Deep Conditioning Gel with Vitamin E, this is what it looks like. Um, again, brown bottle. You can kind of tell it's like a liquidy type of texture. And the ingredients in this are castor oil, aloe vera leaf gel, honey, vitamin E, natural spices, glycerin, essential oils, almond oil, and flax seeds. And again, it smells heavenly. Both of these actually, the smells complement each other. This one is not as sweet. It smells like Fruity Pebbles to me. <laughs> I mean, you still get that honey almond kind of um, hint of smell in there, but it really, really smells like Fruity Pebbles. And if you guys have ever made flaxseed gel, 
you know how it's kind of stringy and mucusy. That's basically um, what this is. It's really kind of slimy and just yeah. It it's a it's a weird kind of texture, but it goes on really smoothly. And I put this over top of the leave-in conditioner and. It just, it works marvelously. I have tried it by itself. It does get a little crunchy, so you have, so I do have to take like an oil or a little bit of shea butter to scrunch to crunch, but if you use them together, they just, they're awesome. Um, and that's all I have in my hair actually now. I've worn this for, like I said, six days. It's six day hair. And you can see how, um, yeah, my, go in. Um, that, yeah, my hair is kind of frizzy, but it's still kind of really defined. Um, it's still wearable. It's not super, super horrible for being six-day hair. I actually just got back from shopping, and it's humid, and it's hot, and it's rainy out, and my hair was fine just like this. So, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say. Again, this also is now twelve fifty. It used to be... Um, ten dollars but I wouldn't really mind paying twelve fifty for this just because it's a really good gel um, and of course the ingredients are so simple and there's not that many that you probably could just kinda recreate this at home if you wanted to I'm not too much of a mixtress but um I think I'm gonna try and recreate both of these and see how it turns out um, so yeah, she's on Facebook, she's on Etsy, I'll put her links down below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, if you just want to say hey, leave them in the comments box, and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.